Hello YouTube, Donald's Desert Digest here. This is not going to be a scratching session. What this is going to be kind of a recap. Since I just started this channel, I'm going to show uh, last year's major winners that I saved. There's a couple I missed, but this will just cover the, the major winners. And, and I generally haven't kept track in the past of the, the smaller stuff below 100. So the number is actually bigger than what I'm going to show you, slightly. And it is definitely in the profit zone. So let's just recap. From January uh, 27, 2020, there's a $500 winner. A $100 winner on February 3rd last year. Also on February 3rd, which was a, seemed, was a pretty good day, is a $500 winner. On uh, February 12th, another $500 winner. On February 21st of 2020, another 500. And on this one here, which was uh, February 21st, was that, yeah. Yeah, I had, I had double winners that day. Here's 540, there's two tickets stapled together here. But uh, 540, you can see the instant win thing there and all the, the winners down below. So there was 540 on that day. And I know there was some stuff between there and uh, July. But on July uh, 15th, a claimer. I had to drive up to Tucson to get this one. $1,000 claimer. My only claimer so far in Arizona. And, uh, and there were winners after this. But these are the ones I kept track of. This year, I'm keeping much closer track of everything. So, so far this year, on January 3rd, was a $500 winner with uh, wins up here, multiple wins down below that added up to 500. And that was January 3rd. January 15th, another $500 winner. And this was a on an instant, uh, just a solid uh, instant win flag thing there. Just no one number, 500. And on January 27th, just before I started this channel, is another 500. I, was, I didn't save the slip, but there's 50, 100, and multiple things down below. That all added up to 500. And on February 9th, actually my first... Uh, uh, one of my first videos on this uh, my channel here was this $500 winner. So I'm pretty good at this. A lot of it is luck. I'll grant you that. There is a few little tricks and skills you you pick up to to uh, decide you know when to buy tickets and stuff. I'll tell you one one for sure is what I call the piggyback method, and that's simply this: you just go into watch a lottery machine and, and somebody's buying big tickets, you just kind of like, you don't hover over them, you just stand in the distance and watch them scratch, scratch, scratch. You know, they'll buy four or five uh, 30s or 20s, $20 tickets, they'll throw them on the trash and walk out. Then you swoop in and then you buy tickets. Your odds of getting a hit at that point are greatly increased. That method has worked time and time again, but you never know when that's going to happen. You just have to be there at the right time. And I've had people use that method against me, which <laughs> can be annoying, but uh, usually though, 99% of the time when I'm, when I'm doing this, the person who's done buying tickets and scratching, they walked out the store. They don't have a clue, you know, what I'm doing. So uh, anyway, that's about it. I just wanted to bring everybody up to speed there. And uh, believe me, uh, there will be other winners coming up in my, I, just, just based on my past history here, I know I will hit them. I don't know when, next week, next month, but it will happen. So anyway, Donald's Desert Digest here, and I'm going to sign off now. And uh, if you like what you're hearing or seeing, uh, hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell. Any comments are welcome and appreciated. And until next time, have keep scratching and have a good day.